How to get iOS 14 double tap on the back gesture on any Android device without having to root it. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get iOS 14 style double tap on the back gesture to open any application or perform any action on any Android device without having to root it. As you can see, I do have my Pixel 2 XL which is running Android 10 and the only thing you need is an APK which is linked in the description of the video and then the other thing you need is any file manager which will let you install APKs. I am using FX file manager. You are free to use any file manager application which you want to all you need to do is select the apk tap on it and it is going to install it if the file manager application asks permission to install apks make sure you grant that permission and here it is this is the application which i'm talking about tap tap once you open it you do need to provide it access to accessibility because on the top it is telling me that accessibility service is disabled i will tap on it it is going to take me to the accessibility option and here I will select tap tap and enable accessibility for tap tap and then tap on allow once this is done we can go back and if we open the tap tap application now you can see that accessibility service is enabled now those of you who have devices which are running MIUI for you the option might be a bit different so here is my POCO F1 and if I go into tap tap accessibility service is enabled however when it is disabled you will tap on it it will take you to the accessibility menu and here you need to go into more downloaded services and this is where it will list all the services select tap tap and enable the accessibility service for tap tap it is not on the main page of accessibility service and now we have multiple options so the first option is gesture from here and you can select your device model do note that it is only going to list the pixel devices so if you have a pixel device it's the best otherwise you have to just try between the multiple options you see here and see which one works best for you next we can go back and then you'll go into actions so what are actions these are the actions which are going to be performed when you double tap on the back of your device now do note that the application is open source and it does not require any special hardware or software it just uses the accelerometer and the gyroscope on your device to check for a double tap now if you tap on add action you can say select launch and then you can launch an app so let's try to launch an app and say that we want to launch the calculator application now press and hold and you can move it to the first action similarly press and hold second action is screenshot now they are going to perform these actions in the order in which they see it on the screen right now so let's say you double tap and it is not able to launch the calculator application it will move over to the second action similarly if you are in the calculator app and you double tap one more time it is going to take a screenshot next up we have gates so these gates are the options or the toggles wherein the double tap will not be detected if that gate is enabled so right now the gate is enabled for display off so if the display is off double tap on the back will not do anything similarly you have options for other gates and you can add a specific gate as well in case you want to so you have the option of camera on call app showing and a bunch of other options next we can go back and of course you can provide feedback to the developer if you want to do note that with a case on your results may vary so i do recommend that if you have a case on and it is not working try with the case off so let us try with the case on and this here is the pixel to excel as you can see i am double tapping and nothing is happening so let us now try double tapping on the back without the case on there it is it finally worked let me double tap one more time and see if it is consistent yep we just took a screenshot so it's not as consistent as i would like it to be on the pixel 2 xl however we can also try this out on my pixel 3 so here is the pixel 3 let's see if it works fine on this one 
yep there it is i do have a case on on my pixel 3 and oh my god one plus suffering from another display issue that's nothing new anyways there it is we took a screenshot as well let us try bringing in my poco f1 and see how the app performs on the poco f1 so here is the poco f1 we do have the tap tap application installed and let us try double tapping on the back i did feel a vibration yes there it is magic manager was opened successfully double tap one more time it did switch over to chrome because that is how i have set it up in actions so the first app it is going to launch is magic manager followed by chrome let us give it one more try and double tap bam i did feel a vibration here is magic manager double tap one more time and it did switch over to chrome so looks like i am having better luck on my poco f1 as compared to say the pixel 2 xl or my pixel 3 and there it is peeps that is how you enable the double tap on the back gesture on any android device without having to root it and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you